Russian engineers have completed a key phase of a bridge that will link the annexed Crimea Peninsula to mainland Russia. A huge 6,000-ton railway arch was hauled into place 35 meters 115 feet above the sea, in an operation involving hundreds of workers. The bridge, which will be 12 miles long when complete, is due to open to road traffic next year and rail traffic in 2019. It is a major part of the Kremlin's plan to integrate Crimea, seized from Ukraine in March 2014 in a rapid military operation. The international community still regards the territory as part of Ukraine and Crimean. Officials and companies have been under Western sanctions since the annexation. Crimea is linked to Ukraine by a narrow isthmus but is separated from Russia by the Kerch Strait. Currently the only routes to Crimea from mainland Russia are by plane or a ferry across the strait, which is often cancelled due to bad weather. For Russia, the bridge is both a practical necessity to provide infrastructure links to the annexed peninsula, and a symbolic movement to show that Moscow has no intention of giving up control over Crimea anytime soon. Russian officials hope the bridge will make it easier for Russian tourists to holiday in Crimea and for Crimean wines and produce to be transported to mainland Russia for sale. Kerch Strait Bridge The railway arch forms a section more than 200 meters in length and is high enough to allow ships to pass beneath. A similar arch for the road traffic section will be lifted into place next month. The bridge has been described as the most complex construction operation in Russian history. It will be the longest bridge in the country, and is projected to cost nearly three billion pounds. Plans for its construction began to take shape shortly after the annexation, and were made all the more important by a series of blockades from the Ukrainian side. The border between Crimea and the rest of Ukraine is highly militarized and subject to long delays.